Hi, my name is Corey Copping. I'm the Product Marketing Manager for HP Networking in Canada. Today we're going to talk about a couple things. The Procurve 1 Open Network Ecosystem and the ZL module. And as well, we're going to talk about our Data Center 6600 Switch Series launch. Uh, Procurve 1 Alliance is a, a multi-vendor alliance that uh, uh, basically takes the best of breed in-class uh, solutions from partners like Avaya, um, Mitel, Microsoft, Riverbed, F5, uh, some of the best, uh, uh, best of breed software manufacturers and, and application uh, uh, hardware appliance manufacturers in the business and basically uh, molds them into uh, HP's ZL1 modules. These ZL1 modules are modules that fit into our chassis based switches, uh, the 5400 series line of switches and the 8200 series line of switches. So basically the idea is if you have open slots on your chassis switches either in the core or at the edge with a 54 or an 82, you buy these blank ZL modules and then you load up applications from Microsoft like Network Access Protection, uh, security applications from uh, McAfee, um, you know, load balancing uh, applications from uh, Riverbed and F5 uh, WAN optimization. Each one of these ZL modules can house uh, one of these applications right on the network uh, application core switch. So the idea being, instead of having to take these applications and either buy them as separate appliances and attach them to your uh, core or your, or your network, you can take these applications and um, replace the appliances with ZL modules that are plugged right into the chassis switch. These ZL modules then uh, can feed the, the servers in the data center uh, or your network uh, with these various applications. HP at the same time is introducing the Procurve 6600 series top of rack switches. Uh, this is a first for uh, HP Procurve networking. Uh, it are, it's our first announcement into the data center. Uh, these top of rack switches, uh, th uh, there will be five models. Uh, initially, three will be available. The three initial models available will all be 24 ports uh, of varying uh, of flavors. And then in the future, uh, probably a month or two from now, we're also going to introduce two 48 port versions. Top of rack switches really uh, have been designed for specifically for the data center. A couple of the key reasons why we had to make some changes to these switches for the data center. Um, one is uh, airflow. Airflow is very, very important when you're uh, talking about a data center that has uh, you know, many racks in it, lots of ProLiant servers, uh, many switches. All these things produce uh, a tremendous amount of heat. So obviously cooling and efficiency is very important in the data center. So what we've done with the 6600 is, is we've taken it and first of all made all of the, uh, all the, the ports front side accessible. So there's no need to go to the back of the, of the uh, switch to plug anything in. All ports are on the front side. <laughs> Another thing that we've done to the 6600 series switch is actually turn all the fans 180 degrees. And this allows for airflow to be flowing all the same way in the rack. So when you have your ProLiant servers and your switches at the top, all the airflow is flowing the exact same way front to back. This is again very important in a data center because as I said, you meant generates a lot of heat and you need to have the airflow all moving the same way so that your cooling system is working not only for the servers but as well for the switch. Another important thing that we did to the 6600 series switch is we made them hot swappable in the power supplies and the fans and they're both redundant. That means we have two power supplies and two fans in the 6600 series switches available that are hot swappable. Again very important for a data, cent data center where you do not want uh, any downtime. If there's a problem you go in and hot swap a, a power supply or a fan. It's definitely a significant announcement for Procurve. So uh, partnering with a number of data center application vendors and uh, working together on an integrated solution for their chassis switches is certainly a, uh, a significant development. So the message to network managers with these two initiatives is that HP is continuing to work on three things, interoperability, um, adaptive, adaptive networks, and uh, open standards.